Poppy Wilson hasn't paid his rent in more than a year. His problem started in the winter of 2022 when temperatures dropped to below zero. That caused his pipes to burst, flooding his restaurant. He had to pay $20,000 out of pocket for repairs mandated by his lease. He's been playing catch up ever since. I don't even know if adversity would be the right word. I'm, I'm facing trials, tribulations, dilemmas. Recently, State Representative Abigail Salisbury visited Poppy Reds as a customer, only to find out that he's expected to be evicted. She's been trying to keep him open by directing him to funding for small businesses. I've been trying to help Mr. Wilson because I'm a small business owner myself, have been for 10 years. And also I recognize the tremendous importance of supporting small businesses in our community. Wilson's landlord is American Realty, which owns the Braddock Hills Shopping Center where he is located. I've tried to reach out to the rental uh, office and see if there's anything that we can do in terms of putting partial payments toward the lease. I don't know if that's going to work out or not. Salisbury says Wilson and all small business owners should always have a startup strategy. That includes identifying funding resources, have emergency capital on hand, and understand the commercial lease agreement. If you live in an apartment and something happens in your apartment, your landlord is responsible for fixing that. But a lot of commercial leases, you are responsible for fixing that even if you're the tenant. I would say that I did not know all that I needed to know as, but a, small business as a small business owner, but I learned to fail forward fast. But Wilson is overwhelmed by the support from Salisbury and the community. A GoFundMe account has been set up for his business. Representative Abigail Salisbury and her staff of the 34th District right down the street, they've been phenomenal. They put us on their web pages and a lot of their uh, employees came up. So I'm overwhelmed. Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.